in Jinshan Garden. As you can see, this garden is located on the central axis of Beijing, facing the Forbidden City. Because of its close position to the Forbidden City, most emperors used to come here to chill out and relax. We are now arriving in a very special place. Exactly on this ground, for over eight centuries, emperors from the Qing and Ming dynasty have practiced the art of archery. When the Emperor Kanshi brought for the first time his grandson Qianlong to this file, in fact, he was amazed by the amazing skills of his grandson. In fact, Qianlong was able to score three perfect arrows in a row. So that's impressive, right? And actually, throughout the Ming and Qing dynasties, archery and riding were highly praised skills. This is mainly because the power of the state highly relied on the power and efficiency of its military. As we saw, this place is rich in history. Let's go and find out more. And we now arrived in the shadow of the Shu Janifers. As you can see, they stand straight and forthright. These two features made the Emperor Kanshi uh, think about the attitude that generals should have toward the state. That's why he renamed them the General Sightmakers. So now, let's follow me to the next stop. Hey guys, what's up? So we're now at the base of the mountain and hopefully I'll make it to reach the top where we are gonna find Wan Chun Pavilion. Follow me! So I made it to the Wan Chun Pavilion and now this is the best spot to enjoy the view over the whole entire Beijing city. So you can have a look. Wan Chun Pavilion is actually the place where the Emperor Kanshi brought his heir and grandson Qianlong for the second time when they came to visit Jinshan Park. When the Emperor Kanshi brought his heir Qianlong here for the second time, the Emperor Kanshi reminded of his young age when he came here and to meditate and relax. And once again, coming here with his grandson, the Kanshi Emperor was amazed by his grandson because Qianlong could actually uh, read a old poem by himself that he wrote himself. So the poem says exactly Yun Xiao Qian Shi Yi Dan Qiu Nian Xia Shang He Yi Wang Zhou this actually means that when you're in an environment surrounded by clouds, you feel like being in heaven. It's now time to say goodbye to the Wan Shun Pavilion. As you see, it is in blossom and tourists are everywhere. Follow me to the next stop. When the Manchurian Jin Dynasty unified China, Emperor started to great give a great importance to the Han culture. As second emperor of the dynasty, Han Shi taught the importance of his hair tier long of Confucianism and the values of kindness and love for the stability of the state. After 15 years from the start of his throne, the emperor Qianlong actually remembered of his grandfather and built this building. Hey guys, so for today our tour is over and uh, don't forget to come with less locals to make the best out of your trip to China. If you like the video, please subscribe and like it. And our page is called Let's Locals. Stay awesome. <laughs>